magbigay halaga at respeto sa taong bayan na maghahalal sa iyo. Uh, napakahalaga ng eleksyon, napakahalaga ng debate, pero bigyan mo ng oras mo kasi yun yung pagpapakita mo ng respeto sa proseso. Uh, kasi sila nanggaling din sa kanila, merong isa doon hanggang sa huli ton, talagang pinaasa niya yung network na a-attend siya. Pero ang hinihingi niya, advanced questions na hindi mabigay ng network kasi wala eh. There are no... Meron kasi nagpadala sa akin na uh, isang uh, blogger, isa siyang lawyer na meron siyang legal blog sa YouTube. Yung um, batas natin, si ang blogger, isang trial lawyer, si Attorney Libayan. Tapos, um, ay nagtanong, tinan, ano daw, may comment daw siya sa aking um, tanong. And so, pinanood ko yung, yung comment niya. Ngayon, this is going to be, ano, my, um, uh, my, my kind of rebuttal to, you know, let's, let's say na, yeah, sure, I, 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 I see your point, but I will make you see what's the purpose of the question, di ba? And maybe, um, if, if you are humble enough, you can also be educated on how foreign policy um, question works and how, 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 um, why hypothetical question like that are necessary in foreign policy matters. Diba? So I will answer um, his points. Diba? Ang una-una, ang sabi niya is um, napaka-hypothetical ng question and that could never happen and, and it's a waste of time. Ang sabi niya is dapat daw, marami daw paraan. Sabi niya, there are a lot of ways para malaman natin yung thinking ng isang tao by using actual problem. Okay? Kasi for him, China hindi maglilive because they are a major claimant. Okay? Ganito kasi yung mga friends. Okay? Um, I, I don't know the foreign policy and diplomacy education of Attorney Libayan. So, I do not really know to what extent does he actually know how people in foreign policy and, diploma and diplomacy are actually educated. Okay. Um, just to give a background on, 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 on my education, I took foreign policy and diplomacy course. Uh, it's part of my program at Leiden University College. And my professor was a former secretary general of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. He was the 11th Secretary General of, the, of NATO, and he was the, U, the NATO Secretary General during the Iraq War. Now, we are, ang, ang mga questions namin na sinasagot sa kursong yan, sa foreign policy and diplomacy, are all hypothetical questions. And they are always, 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 huh? always as in its most extreme form. Why? Why questions in foreign policy and diplomacy always as in the most extreme form? Because this tests your capability for scenario planning. Okay? For scenario planning, you, you cannot discount anything na he, will never happen. Katulad nung nag-aaral pa ako niya, it was like 2014. Can you imagine my foreign policy professor told us that no one thought that Russia would annex Crimea? No one thought. No one, no one ever envisioned that Russia will annex Crimea. But it happened. Diba? So, so it, it, it is something na it never occurred. Can you imagine asking that question? For example, to, to I think it was um, not a question, but I remember Trump saying na Russia will annex Crimea. I don't know if it's Trump or somebody else. And then they were laughing at him because they thought that it will never happen. But it did happen. <laughs> diba? It did, it did happen. Second, you know, why are hypothetical questions like this are being asked? Okay. And why am I asking this? Because first, this, is, this was my academic training. We were trained to think through the worst case scenarios. Okay? Through the worst case scenarios. So yung sinasabi mong kailangan, actual lang, do, dodong. You will never survive the domain of foreign policy and diplomacy if you will only think through an actual situation. Because inter the, the events, okay, the events in international relations are very unpredictable. Diba? No one predicted, and, or no one, in their, no, no one predicted that one day the USSR will just disintegrate 
without a war right and then they have to and then they suddenly found their uh, uh themselves in in a new world order without the ussr no one in their right mind uh, no, no one ever predicted that someday there will be nuclear weapons <laughs> diba? nuclear weapons why are why are we being trained to think through the extreme or uh, worst case scenarios in foreign policy and diplomacy and foreign policy and diplomacy why it is because you know the domain of foreign policy is a domain of long term thinking you cannot just thinking in terms of the present when it comes to foreign policy and diplomacy <music>